This is a story unlike any other story that you have ever had in your life. If it wasn't for all the people that know the story, I probably wouldn't believe it myself. It is covered in a thick magic imaginary love that will tickle your heart and soul for goodness, forming into the creation of a brand new life. Think about jazz pouring into your mind and heart while you are dreaming about all the best ways to turn everybody's life here on earth into a magically flamboyant and creative goodness that will entertain and give joy to all that experience the cognitive process. Imagine if you can how this animated series could be, and how being a part of it will better your life. There is a warm as a baby's bottle, slight as the touch of a tickle feather, almost out of sight and out of mind feeling, as fresh and new as the day you were born. So here it comes, a tingle in your belly that races around the track, as the fertile beginnings of a newly sprouted seed erupt volcanic and swell delicious in your stomach. Softly, like the fuzz on a peach, it heads upwards in the direction of your lungs, pushing a little air from your nostrils. A little more and a little more, before your shoulders start, involuntarily, to bounce. Forced upward it pushes air through your throat, and your vocal cords start to vibrate. It comes harder and harder until you can no longer help yourself. You begin to lose control of your facial features. Your lips curl up at the ends, and your mouth opens ridiculously wide. Your abdomen tenses up and you crouch over, but it will not stop. It begins to hurt as tears flow freely and unashamed from your eyes. It comes so hard that you can barely breathe, and you fall out of your chair. Curled up in a ball on the ground, you laugh so hard that you are begging for mercy and the whole time, you are thinking to yourself, oh my god. That is the dumbest joke I've ever heard. The comedian, egged on by the sight of your uncontrollable laughter, continues to push and will not stop. He repeats any and all phrases, words and gestures that elicit the required response. You are a prisoner to ridiculous lines, knock-knock jokes, red herrings, ethnic stereotypes, priests, monks and rabbis, genie granting wishes from magic lamps, which one is the odd one out, and men who walk into bars that are too loud because of the heavy metal music. It takes an enlightened mind to find its way toward the light of laughter and a moth will singe its wings on a flame repeatedly and never learn of the danger that lies within. A man walks into a bar, or to be more exact, stumbles in, as the wind, gusting and blusterous outside, slams the door against the side of the building and practically throws him into the room. After a brief and somewhat comical struggle with the door, he stands up straight and faces the bar. The bar itself is bathed in a red light that glows softly around the antique wooden fixtures. Statues of impossible patrons from days gone by sit in their immortal positions, laughing, crying, drinking and talking with their immortalized counterparts. Commissioned to place the installation in the bar almost a decade ago, a wattage in Pratt, a sculpture artist from Fiji, had painstakingly hand-carved the features of the now bronzed faces to echo the emotions of humanity and in doing so, cast a spell over the establishment. A spell that would last as long as his sculptures sat in their familiar poses and spent night after night, reminding us of days gone by and daring us to dream of a future where freedom and happiness reign, with war and misery, famine and hunger and disease and death, being distant memories of the past. This is a real place, in a real city, somewhere in the world.